Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today we're going to be taking a look at the PDW57 in Black Ops 2. This has quickly become one of my favorite submachine guns in the game. Uh, I know a lot of people have been gravitating on over to the MSMC or even the Vector, uh, but I love this weapon. I think it's got a lot of great statistics to it. I think it uh, outclasses a lot of the other weapons in uh, different ways. I'm going to go into those details and also give you guys some advice on different loadouts that I like to use this weapon with. Uh, but yep, so let's just kind of dig on in here. Uh, so the PDW is sporting the second highest max damage out of all the submachine guns in Black Ops 2. It's going to do 35 damage a shot up close, and then that's going to drop off to 18 damage a shot at long range, or its minimum damage. And really what this means for you, the player, is that if you are in a close encounter engagement, which is basically uh, where you want to be with uh, this type of a weapon, it's only going to take you three shots to take out your target. And the only other weapon uh, that can hold claim to that title as well, at least for the weapons in this category, is the MSMC, which does 40 damage a shot, or that's its maximum damage, uh, but it's still going to take you three shots to kill someone. Uh, the one downside, though, is that it does have a very slow rounds per minute when you compare it to the other submachine guns. It has an RPM of 720, and if you want to boost that up with a rapid fire, it's only going to go to 900. And when you compare that to the MP7 or the Vector, their minimum RPM without rapid fire is 900. Uh, so that is a pretty substantial disadvantage, and uh, you're, you're going to have to make sure that when you do use this weapon, you're making every single one of your shots count because you don't have as much room for air and when you go against someone who is using a higher RPM uh, you're gonna be at a slight disadvantage granted you do have a higher damage model uh, so you're not gonna have to get as many bullets into the target uh, but still a higher RPM is always gonna give you more room for air and that's something that uh, the PDW uh, doesn't really have uh, but probably the nicest aspect of this weapon is that it has the highest magazine size out of any of the submachine guns if you just want to use its standard clip it's got 50 rounds in its magazine but if you want to bump that up and use the extended clip uh, you get 67 rounds which is insane for submachine guns and that's probably the, one of the main things I love about this weapon because when you're using these types of guns really Call of Duty is all about hip fire and being able to run around with the PDW 570 and hip fire with 67 rounds or 57 or I'm sorry 50 rounds in your magazine uh, gives you a lot of killing potential and if you're able to use the, those rounds efficiently this is one of the few weapons in the game where you can get some pretty amazing montage moments uh, simply because you never have to reload and you can go on three four five six kills uh, without a problem it only requires three shots to kill a target and you have 50 rounds to do that so it's it's really amazing in that regard uh, another nice thing is that because this weapon does have a slower rounds per minute I've noticed that it's it's uh, recoil is a lot more manageable than something like the Scorpion Evo uh, which is just gonna bounce all over the place if you're not aware that weapon has the highest rounds per minute out of any weapon in the game it's got an RPM of 1200 and because of that it's got a crazy recoil coil as well, uh, but that's really not the case with the PDW. It's a lot more accurate when you try to aim down sight, you can stay on target a lot easier, and it's a much more effective weapon when you go for those medium range targets. Uh, another downside that I should mention is that even though it does have such an amazing magazine size, it kind of suffers in the reload department. Uh, so if you want to reload, it's going to take you 2.59 seconds to go through the entire animation. But if you've gone through your entire magazine, you know, even the one in the chamber, it's going to take you 3.19 seconds. And that's the slowest out of all of the submachine guns. Uh, but even that being said, even though it is so slow, that's still not like it's not terrible by any means it's just not as good as the other ones and because you do have such a large magazine size you're really not gonna have to reload it all that often and as I said you're gonna be able to go on long kill streaks and when you do need to reload you know get into a corner for a second and go through the animation it really isn't all that large of a problem uh, so to kind of wrap up the weapon statistics, the nice things about the PDW-57 is that it does have a very large magazine size, its max damage is very high, and its recoil is fairly manageable when you go for those medium to long range targets. Uh, on the downside though is that its reload time, its slow and fast reload is quite substantial, it's going to take you quite a long time to go through that animation, and its RPM is very slow when you compare it to the other submachine guns. Uh, so when you are using the weapon, make sure that you're 
you're have you're make sure that you're making every one of your shots count and that you get your the drop on an enemy who is using something like the Evo or the MP7. Uh, with regard to some attachment recommendations, I always basically stuck with the laser sight, which is going to increase your hip fire accuracy. And because Call of Duty is basically all about hip fire, this is just going to make you all that more potent. And I also like the long barrel because this weapon is great for at least medium range targets. Uh, this is going to make you even uh, more effective at uh, taking them out. And it's going to increase uh, the distance that your target can be from you where you're going to be able to still get that three shot shot kill. Uh, so I really like that uh, that little combination. Uh, if those don't suit you, you could always use the rapid fire, which is going to put it more in line with the other submachine guns. That's always a good choice. I really didn't like it as much as I thought when I first unlocked it. I'm not really sure why. It increase or it uh, it decreases your aim down sight accuracy, and maybe that's why I wasn't a huge fan of it. But like I said, it's it's going to make you even more effective for close encounter engagements. Uh, so that's always a plus. I know a lot of people. People do like to use the suppressor, but I wasn't really a fan of that on this gun. It's going to reduce your damage and basically make it so that your uh, three shot kill uh, window is going to be smaller. So I really didn't like that as well. Uh, but really, it's going to come down to you what attachments that you uh, like for this weapon. I, I, I like the long barrel and the laser sight, I find it to be most effective. But like I said, it's really going to come down to you. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's about it for my review of the PDW-57. I hope you enjoyed, but before I go, I would love to know what you guys think about this gun. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? What are your reasons why? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed today's video or just want to support my channel, it always puts a smile on my face when you give my videos a rating, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. But until next time, guys, have a good one, and take it easy.